Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Provines. Today I'm making seared scallops with grits. This is obviously a play on the classic southern dish shrimp and grits, but I prefer this particular version. What I want to focus on today though is really the scallops themselves um, and how to buy them and prep them and grill them properly. I've got some beautiful examples right here. These are actually dry packed scallops, which means that they're they're harvested, taken out of the shell, and sold just as is. More often than not today, you find wet pack scallops, which means that they've been treated with a solution, a phosphate and water solution. It's not a great thing for us because it actually fills the scallop with some extra water, and the water creates steam, which is one of the reasons that scallops tend to stick. So if you want to avoid sticking, the first thing is to avoid wet pack scallops. If, however, you have purchased wet pack scallops, or you've just marinated the scallops so that they are wet, what you want to do is pat them dry before they go onto the grill. Just with a paper towel, just pat them on both sides so that most of that moisture is, is taken off. Another thing you want to do is remove what's called the abductor muscle. This is the muscle on the edge of the scallop that actually connects it to the shell. And it is as tough as a little pencil eraser. So you want to get that thing off of there before you grill. Now that they're dry and, and um, without their abductor muscle, you've got to give them something that's going to prevent sticking. And here I'm just using a little bit of melted butter. You could use some uh, oil. And you want a fair amount of it, but not so much that they're dripping wet. When they come out of this solution, there shouldn't just be liquid pouring off of the spoon because that's going to fall into the grill and probably cause a flare up. I'm going to put some nice uh, southern seasonings on here. And these are now ready to go to the grill. The grill needs to be hot. I mean, really quite high. 450 at a minimum, 500, 550, even a slightly more than that is really good because there is so much moisture in scallops. You need to steam that off as quickly as possible. Now, when you go to put the scallops on the grill, notice that there are, are you know, various sides to the scallop. And the idea is to get the flattest, widest side down first. That's actually going to be your presentation side. That's the one that's going to have the nice looking grill marks. And you should really see that smoke and hear that sizzle as soon as the scallops go down. That shows you that you've got a high enough grill. The grill, by the way, also has to be quite clean. Okay, so you want to make sure to brush it off before you put the scallops down. And now you've got to exercise a little bit of patience, right? That moisture is being cooked off and then the browning begins. And it's not until the browning begins that the scallop actually releases from the grate. So you're going to need to wait at least a minute with the lid down. So here's how I want you to check whether they're ready to turn. Just get your tongs and get them on either sides of the scallop and don't squeeze hard, but just try to turn the scallop or roll it over. Gently just roll it over. Now you can see they've got nice browning, beautiful little kind of crust on the outside, and the inside is going to be perfectly creamy. Now notice that one is still sticking a little bit, and I can actually see moisture still coming out. You know, not all scallops are identical, so let that one go a little bit longer. This one rolls over nicely. This one rolls over nicely. I'll come back to this. Usually a matter of just about 10 seconds or so is enough to let it release. And there you go. They've all turned over without really sticking or falling apart. Now you've got a relatively short period of time. It might have been a minute or so on the first side and maybe it's only going to be, well, it's probably going to be about another minute or so on the second side. You just want to be able to, to feel the scallop and it should still have that soft texture to it. If it's bouncy, like, like a pencil eraser, it's overdone. And that's the worst thing you can do in the world is overcook a scallop. So I'm going to let it go another minute or so with the lid down. So there you have it, seared scallops and grits. The keys here are buying good scallops, preferably dry packed scallops, patting them dry, taking off that abductor muscle, grilling them on a really hot, clean grate, turning them only when they've begun to brown on that first side. And for goodness sake, don't overcook them.